Okay, so some um, examples of getting audio into PCS Pro. This is for be for live streaming or adding um, audio onto your clips, etc., etc. I'm just going to show you one example to start off with. Um, I've got here just an ordinary uh, headset or earphones from a mobile phone. That's all. Um, I'm just going to plug them into the uh, jack on the laptop, on the audio jack. Okay, so having seen that, I'll get rid of me. There we go, and we'll go to Tools, Config, uh, Video Capture, Audio Settings up here, and then the microphone we just plugged in is there. Now in the external audio source, I'm just going to select on that. Um, I'm also going to, just by default, I'm going to mute the audio in the video display. And the reason for doing that is once you start talking onto your video or commentating, then you'll get it fed back through the laptop speakers, which is a horrible experience. Um, there's some more audio settings down here, but for now we're not going to worry about those other than the one that says capture video without re-encoding. So if you're using an external audio source using the Blackmagic uh, Pro Recorder, um, then that will need to be unchecked. But we're not, we're, we're doing it with another piece of equipment, so for now I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to click on Save and then OK. Video will go for a bit. And there we go, we've got our video back um, on the screen. And you'll see in here, under the cog on the settings, we've got mute audio in player set as well. So we don't get that feedback as we as we suggested. Now I'm going to plug the um, the headset into into my ear roll. Um, so I've got the microphone near to me, and I'm just going to capture a ball clip. Um, I'll start the ball clip, and I'll just count that down: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, we'll end the video clip. Um, get rid of all that and we'll just play the video back. I'll start the ball clip and I'll just count that down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. And you would have heard there that the video had, now has audio on it. And that will go into your live stream as well. So although I've shown you that capturing on a, on a video clip, that would also embed directly into your live stream. So that's one method of getting audio into PCS Pro. Okay, another little um, video on audio um, into PCS Pro. So I've got one of these little gadgets. Um, it's a USB plug-in with um, audio in and audio out jacks on the back. Um, get these off of Amazon, you know, cheap as chips, um, 10, 12 pounds ish, there or thereabouts. Um, so you'll see at the moment, if you go to tools, uh, config, video capture, audio settings, um, you just got microphone and PC sounds in there at the moment. If I just come away from that and then plug that wee little gadget into the laptop's USB. Um, then you'll see it's setting up the device, audio device. Let's close that down. If I now go to tools, config, video, audio settings. You'll now see microphone USB audio device in the settings. Um, now the reason for this is sometimes Windows 10, Windows 7 doesn't always pick up the built-in jack, audio jack that's in the laptop. Um, there's plenty of uh, information about it out there on the, on the internet if you search it all up. Um, but just by buying one of those cheap little USB devices that overcomes all of those problems. You just plug it in uh, Windows installs the drivers, the device appears straight away in PCS Pro and it works fine. Um, so that's another way of getting audio in. You've got a little uh, three and a half mil microphone jack into that. 
little device you can plug whatever microphone you want into there as long as it's microphone in not line in um, audio and again that will work fine for you okay so just moving on from the um, audio and the little USB device which I showed you a little bit earlier on um, one of the other things that I've used in the past it's got a stand of um, effects microphone here it's the sort of thing you use in your in meetings when you're doing your zoom calls and your teams calls you stick it in the middle of the desk and it picks up everybody's voice um, now it's not waterproof um, but it does a great job as an effects mic um, again search the internet 25 30 pounds there or thereabouts um, comes with a fairly long lead this particular model um, I've used it to great effect um, comes with, again with a little three and a half mil jack and that would go into the microphone side of your little USB device that I showed earlier on again plug that in um, to your laptop select it from the settings like we showed you earlier I'll just run through again again tools config video capture audio settings select your USB device and save and that will now pick up um, like a quite wide range of audio um, great for effects so again hang it out the window put it on the window ledge etc and again it works fine um, just a word of caution on that of course if people aren't aware that there's a microphone around um, then their language might not be appropriate so you don't really want that on your live stream so if you are going to use an effects mic and again that's a very cheap way of doing it your outlay there is is under 50 pounds that is for sure probably even cheaper um, and that will do the job for you but please be um, cautious and make sure that people do know there's a microphone um, that is live streaming or put in uh, audio onto your video clips okay so one more uh, video on audio uh, this time I got myself a proper microphone again fairly cheap this is um, what we got here it's a dm18 dynamic microphone looks like it's been used for christmas karaoke to me uh, but again not expensive 15 20 pounds on the internet um these are self-powering a little on off switch as well on the uh on the side here which gives you a little bit more control and obviously more for someone who wants to commentate on a on a game. Um, this has come with a I think that's a six and a quarter mil jack on there. Um, but again you can get yourself a little reducer, which looks like that, goes from the six and a quarter down to your three and a half mil jack. Um, that will just plug in. And then as we've shown you earlier, a little USB gadget with the inputs on the back pop that in to your microphone slot plug that in as we've shown you before and then you're away ready to go Mic uh, the commentator has um, control with a microphone you can turn it on and off or she can turn it on and off and then just commentate away and that will go into your live stream and again just to um, show you the settings I know we've already done this bit before um, but into your video capture audio settings if you're using that USB device then just check in there and you're done and away um, there's a little, couple of little things about audio you know what we're doing here is we're mixing audio and video together so they're both coming in separately um, obviously with compressors encoders going on with the video and the audio there's a chance that they can get a little bit out of sync um, but it's just a case of restarting PCS Pro if you need to to do that they, they may drop out of sync by half a second uh, there's other ways of doing audio but it becomes much more expensive um, that's embedding the audio into the video in the in the first instance or further down the stream or up the stream as it, as it comes into PCS Pro but there's um, some options for you to do it relatively cheaply um, if you're using a video camera or a camcorder that's got audio enabled on it then probably a good idea to switch that off unless you want to use that audio as like an effects mic 
coming into the um, coming into PCS Pro at the same time. Um, so there we go, some audio options for you.